Namaskaram. My best wishes to all the earthlings on this World Earth Day. Well, Earth's diameter is approximately 7,800 miles and its circumference is 24,000 miles. But 87% of the life on this planet happens from just 12 to 15 inches or maximum 18 inches of topsoil. The topsoil or the soil is the cream of this earth. Unfortunately, this cream is turning sour. The necessary life that is needed to keep this cream alive and as a foundation and source of life for all of us is fast vanishing. Approximately 27,000 species on the planet are going extinct per year. At this rate, we could be in serious peril in the next thirty to forty years' time. On this day, let's commit ourselves to ensure that we don't get there because we are in a cusp of time when we have the necessary opportunity that we as a generation, if we make up our minds, we can turn this around in the next eight to twelve or maximum fifteen years' time. This, each one of us can get into action. Well, I want to fix my garden, I want to compost my vegetables. Very cute of you, but it's not a solution because seventy percent, nearly seventy percent of the earth's surface is farmed right now and 4.2 percent is urban lands. So totally seventy-six percent of the land is either ploughed or paved. The most important thing is there should be more photosynthesis. What photosynthesis means is that it takes in carbon dioxide and releases oxygen for us and carbon sugars for the microbial life beneath. Before photosynthesis started nearly a billion years ago, the oxygen content on this uh, planet or in this atmosphere was just over one percent. Definitely we could not exist in that. But today, the photosynthesis or the area of photosynthesis in the world in the last thousand years has come down by eighty-five percent. So this is the important thing. We need to make policies in every nation to ensure the land must either have crops or cover crops or bushes or trees, something green, which is doing this miracle called photosynthesis which both enriches the soil and the atmosphere, soil with carbon sugars, atmosphere with oxygen and also holds the water and moisture in the soil where it should really be. So, take this commitment on World Earth Day that you will be a source of inspiration, you will be a source of galvanizing this movement, ensure that the world speaks about soil because Soil is the basis of pure water, soil is the basis of clean air to breathe, soil is the basis of the very life that we are, the very body that we carry is soil. Will we get this now or get it when we're buried? This is the question on this World Earth Day.